Hi there, I'm Willow Grace. Thank you for joining me today for another video on astrology and the zodiac signs. I wanted to share a video for those who want to learn or to just understand the energy of Pisces in astrology and its purpose. So if you want to see more, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So let's dive in. Pisces. Pisces is the 12th and therefore the last sign of the zodiac. They are born at the end of the astrological cycle. This is often a time of limiting portions or even fasting. It's a time to ready oneself for an entirely new cycle. The concept of less is more is expressed, but in a spiritual way. Pisces is the most compassionate, uh, caring, sensitive, and empathetic sign of the zodiac. They're emotional, they're intuitive, they can literally feel the energy of others. They have the capability to use their talent of feeling energy in their daily work to know where the boundaries start and to stop between themselves and others and can often, it can be blurred. It, it is, this is why because of their ability to feel others' emotions that Pisces can have tremendous difficulty discerning whose feelings and emotions are whose. This can cause them to go from one confusing situation or relationship to another if they don't keep it in check. The Pisces constellation is of two fish swimming in opposite directions, one swimming upstream and the other downstream. They're tied together with a single cord. It suggests that there is always a choice between opposites. The need to reconcile, rec reconcile and integrate both the material and the ethereal worlds into one. Being in so much water, they feel the vibrations of others and they sense people and they can see through things. They can often tell when you're being truthful and when you're not being honest with them because they need to discern and process what they feel. It can sometimes take a while for this to sink in with them. Pisces are, um, they're used, they're, they're used to being picking up clues and verbal and nonverbal messages from people. They feel the vibration of energy that is around people like sonar. Some can actually see the aura and feel energy fields and see energy fields that are around others. Once Pisces have processed what they see and they feel, it may appear to others that they have psychic ability. They have the ability to disperse the energy boundaries of the body and connect with the spirit of the person as one in all. And this is one in this to this sign they one is to become one with somebody else to become one with everyone else to blend and merge together pisces is guided by the planet of neptune the, this planet is represents dreams and spirituality and faith when i'm describing neptune to uh, others, I often think of trying to, to navigate through the fog and the mist, unable to see clearly. So you need to use your intuition, your feelings to move about uh, your intuition, your, your, because you cannot see things clearly. The symbol of Neptune is a trident symbolizing the threefold parts of each of us, the body, the mind, and the spirit. The greatest of these being spirit. Neptune can help each of us imagine and reach for a better reality. Jupiter is the co-ruler of Pisces in the horoscope. Jupiter is also a spiritual planet that sees into the future. It is associated with growth, expansion, healing, prosperity, good luck, and miracles. Having both planets as rulers, you can see how Pisces is often described as being away dreaming or living in a daydream or in a fantasy world and having such a beautiful imagination. Pisces can use this type of energy to create po uh, poetry, stories, music. They are the natural born romantics who bring us the softness that we are in need of reminding of. They encourage us to nurture our spirits and to honor the feelings of spirit in others. Pisces energy connects with others in such a manner that it is best described as merging and combining uh, spiritually and physically, like the two fish swimming in the stream. Pisces are comfortable with feeling and to become as one with all, it's not a foreign concept to them. It is uncomfortable and feels foreign for them to consider that at times that their own health and well-being, that they must learn how to cut cords to disconnect and just be one with a boundary to protect their energy for themselves.
The ability to disconnect must balance with their natural affinity for connection in order for them to remain healthy and perform at their best. This disconnect and separation can sometimes cause them sadness or heartache as they learn to come to terms with that they need to establish these healthy boundaries for themselves, even if it's for their own mental, physical, and spiritual health and well-being. Now, Pisces extends, um, they, they expend, sorry, um, so much of their time feeling and creating and dreaming that when they're taking in and mixing and blending energy with others, they can experience fatigue and exhaustion. This is due to taking on too much in an effort to help out others or just simply by transference, the picking up of other people's energy while out in their daily life. As a Pisces goes through their typical day, they connect with every person that they come in contact with on some level. This can include standing in line at the grocery store or in their place of employment. Not all of this energy is healthy and therefore they will need to learn to disconnect. Cut cords, go within to regenerate and recharge. And this is an important lesson that all Pisces must learn in order to separate the constant need for the moments of unification and the ability to be separate also. Pisces have a gift for finishing things that other people start, healing the loose ends from the past or creating music and art. Some find it hard to deal with reality and will, skate, will seek escapism. They're extremely strong. And when they're inspired by a dream, those who you want, they, <clears throat> I'm sorry, those who uh, want to follow through with a common pursuit, they believe in always leaving room for the go with the flow attitude. Pisces have a strong urge for retreat. And it's here that they find calm waters that they can do their best work as healing, as healers, musicians, and artists. They need to live in a world that they create, which is private and protected. Faith and fantasy are common themes to Pisces energy. And because of this, Pisces is also associated with um, alcohol and drugs for the same reason. They often need a strong belief system, system to act as a scaffold for something for them to hold on to. This can be in the form of meditation, yoga, singing bowl sound therapy, Pisces believe in a higher power that guides us, protects us, and therefore gives us purpose and meaning to our lives. And with the phrase, I believe, you will understand what motivates a Pisces. Their dream life is as real as their day in the topside world. They become empowered when they find enough solitude and can draw on a strong mystical connections. Pisces are often abstract to ambient, relaxing and serene places and they can feel over, overwhelmed um, being in an urban environment and will feel happier in rural setter, settings and by being closer to forms of water. So look to where Pisces is in your chart. Notice the planets or aspects that are within that house. This is where you can expect your Pisces traits to be found. So I hope that you have found something new or learned something new. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And to find out or hear more of this when it first comes out, please hit the like and subscribe button. I heart you.